Good morning and welcome to Mimi's Sketchbook. Today I am studying Paul David Tripp's New Morning Mercies and it's May 5th. I thought I'd show you how I put in my lettering. I use a piece of paper, a note card, and actually I let it wrap around the page. And so it helps me to make, keep the lines straight and centered. I also use a mixed media sketchbook and it's heavier than a sketchbook that you use just for sketching. It can take watercolors and some markers, but it, if you use a Sharpie, the Sharpie will bleed right through the page and it'll spot up the following page. In our devotions, the one of the sentences that really popped out to me was everything that exists, including me, was made for his glory. And in the extra reading in Isaiah, the, the last line said, I will not yield my glory to another. And this made me think about some little microgreens that I have growing on my kitchen windowsill. These little pot of seedlings are leaning towards the sun. And if I turn them around, by tomorrow, they'll be leaning back towards the sun again. It seems like it's undeniable and unbreakable law of nature that they are going to continue to reach out no matter which way I turn them and try to prevent them. And it just made me think that everything that exists, even these little microgreens are made for his glory. So this was the symbol that I'm using for today's Bible verse. Now what I'm doing in the picture is, unfortunately, somehow I didn't turn the camera on for the first part of this painting, but we can pick up right here. And what I'm doing is creating the sunlight coming in the window and to make the sunlight look um, even more dramatic. I have to darken up the background, the wall um, where the sunlight is coming through. The darker I make that wall, the more contrast it's going to create and make that white part um, streaming through the windows uh, look like sunlight. Now I'm going to um, paint the stems and I start with a dark green and then I'm going to, here I'm showing you the stems are white and so I want to make them white but they they won't look white unless I have something to contrast them with. So I have to get some dark green or dark colors in there first. And I'm going to be using an opaque white. I just use gesso. Um, it's not made for this, but it works for me. And it's nice thick white paint. And actually I mixed up a little green in it first. And so I'll have the dark green, kind of a medium green and white then on top of it. So I switched to a very fine paintbrush so I can see the strokes not painting over but painting in between the darker lines so these show up. I'm just really taking my time on these because I this is the whole point to show these little microgreens reaching out leaning they're leaning almost right out of the pot to get that sunshine. Well, 
lot of people have little seedlings on their windowsills right now, and I know that they are aware of that, that the, the seedlings will reach. And if you look at trees and flowers, everything reaches towards the sun. And I'm going to add some more greens on here to fill in the greens, darken them up a little bit more. So when I'm painting and I have an idea, I sometimes I want to exaggerate a little bit. So that's what I'm trying to do here. I want the plants to look like they're really reaching over. And this is the final version here. I've um, outlined a little bit and they're nice and lush and um, they look like happy plants. This is the finished project. I've carried the dark shadow color over to tie the two pages together and I hope uh, this has inspired you to give Bible journaling a try and to help you remember what you've learned and to understand it better. So thank you for joining me at Mimi's Sketchbook, and God bless.